Welcome to your magic moon message. This is the peace dealer. The moon is in Virgo. The sun is in Sagittarius. This is the first game changer we are going to have this season. We're starting the season off with a game changer. Uh, the mechanics behind what a game changer is for me relative to these magic moon messages is whenever the sun and moon are both transiting a mutable sign. So right before uh, the season ends, we are in mutable sign seasons. Um, and whenever we have the moon sign transiting Gemini, Virgo, Sagittarius or Pisces during Gemini, Virgo or Sagittarius or Pisces season, this is effectively a major game changer. I will also use this analogy whenever during any other season the moon is in a mutable sign. All right. But given that we have the sun in interpretive Sag and the moon in analytical Virgo, this is what I like to call relative to Virgo, the real game changer. And because Sagittarius is just a wildfire that is still baffling at how you're still alive and they haven't burned you to a crisp, we can call this the climax all right i don't know where i was going with that but this is not only a game changer it's very significant that we're starting the transit off with this game changer what's the nature of this game changer as you know there's different aspects and angles well the moon is making a 270 to 300 degree angle all right which is a capricorn signature and uh given the greatness that that represents that Capricorn signature was previously an airy signature that started the new moon in Scorpio. Scorpio representing pure energy. That application of potency with Libra, with power, that now produced not only pure energy through intimacy in relationships, but now that pure energy and wisdom expressing and manifesting experience or an effect uh like with any appliance like when you turn on a light there's power and there's energy and that energy of course produces light sagittarius so this is not only relative to that new moon in scorpio we activated and then we broke through the ground and understood with knowledge in Aquarius and then we harvested in Taurus we are now completing the energy by converting that into the effect the magic okay this so next 30 days is going to be fucking wild I was gonna say retarded but wild I think is more suited it's gonna be wild as not only are you transitioning out of quite literally an old era, the last 30 to 200 years, but we're stepping into a realm of originality that'll be as controversial and chaotic as it is inspirational and just savage AF. Well, we're going to have our next game changer on the new moon in Sag, and then we're gonna have the moon in Pisces that is gonna help us understand why it is we have changed our life like we are changing over the next two weeks. Oh, I forgot to tell you, your whole life is getting ready to change now over the next two weeks. See, this is the I told you so tour part three. OK, all right. I did. I didn't mean to bite his style right now. I didn't realize I was talking like Jordan the Stallion. But yes, this is a climax and a final harvest of everything you activated in Libra. Libra season was the unlocking of your superpowers through an unplayable character because this is an RPG or we can look at this as a fighting game that you may not know you're in, even if you're an extra or not. Cause you know, you'll know you're in a fighting game if the main character you're around is always getting into fights, you're in a fighting game. But you might be in a role playing game and you know, in fighting games and role playing games and games, there are characters that you can't unlock until you reach a certain level or until you fulfill a certain mission. You've done both. And Libra season October was where for the first time you have unlocked a new version of yourself. You put the sauce on that in Scorpio season. And guess what? 
you're getting ready to see and show the world who you've become. It is, it's, it's not going to be any, it's going to be cringy. Even if you're not bringing the cringe, if you're not a cringe lord like me, that source is cringe, you're still going to feel cringe. It's, it's a huge theme of the next 20 years where we're redefining what is cringe and you're seeing everyone in humanity embrace cringe. It's going to be the weirdest shit ever. And I'm, I'm going to enjoy myself thoroughly. But other than that, this is still very unique because once again, this is the first time you're getting ready to see aspects of yourself in full maturity. Even if you're like three, five, ten years old watching this, you're probably not three years old watching this. But even even for people who are just incarnating here and relative to the sextile the sun is making with Pluto and Aquarius, having a see into the next era over the next 30 days, it is also completing the awakening that we activated January 19th of 2024. So as we step into this transit, this is a very appropriate initiation. We're starting with completion. That's this is very interesting. We over the past month cultivated energy, and now as we're getting ready to complete what that is, we're moving forward and changing perspective. We are illuminating and coming into the meaning of everything we've analyzed the past three weeks, three months, and everything we have explored and changed in our thought process the past six months, and everything the past nine months you have changed in your beliefs, you're getting ready to see over the next 30 days. With the moon in Virgo, this is giving you a detailed analytical understanding of how this change is beginning to rocket ship ascend you into a whole new era. All right, you're on Noah's Ark, by the way. So Saturn is still in Pisces. We're going to have the opposition of the moon and Virgo to Saturn and Pisces. This is like GPS geolocation of, okay, well, we just escaped death because everything we know has been flooded. But where are we headed to now? And this is where Sagittarius gives us vision um, in the change of our landscape and how we actually adjust perspective. Boom, moon and Virgo. So everything you've been believing right now must align not only with the evolution of your mindset that you firmware updated in your brain over the past six months, but now how you can really make real sense of that in real life with other real people. And now you're going to see what that looks like. Um, once again, the moon in Vir <laughs> the moon in Virgo, like understanding, detailed understanding is the initiation over the next two weeks of your entire life changing. This is the harvest and the climax of everything you've activated since March. All right. Given that Venus is in Capricorn right now, this is going to push forward relationships in ways you quite literally could have never imagined because you weren't thinking like this before you weren't acting like this before you weren't put in situations that pretty much force you to express your true self instead of maybe a mask or whatnot so in two weeks from now when the moon is in pisces this new vision next week during the new moon we're going to activate by the way next week we're going to activate ascended magic god level magic chaos magic it's a new life we do this every year right but Two weeks from now, we're going to be understanding why it is we made the decisions we made and how to support this new vision because we're going to understand how our beliefs are changing. Well, that all begins once again now where we're understanding how it is we're going to begin to change quite literally everything. Okay. Now, Sagittarius is literally the wild card, they're the archer. And they're, they're as wild as an Andrew Tate telling people to email him if he called, if any of you called Leo or Coffeezilla gay. This is the wildness of Sag. Sagittarius is Gideon showing up to your job and pranking you and then you getting fired because they just decided to have fun that day. And they're going to make millions of dollars from that and just be like, sorry, bro. It's not even on purpose. These are just obnoxious wild magical beasts all right if you come across one walk away slowly 
okay, before they catch you and now you've been talking for two hours about their philosophical beliefs that they somehow have convinced you to start believing. It's a dangerous period. It's one of the most dangerous seasons of the year, but it's cool. This is transitioning us out of everything that we have perceived, okay? I know, it's terrifying. It's going to be fun for some of you. y'all. Some of y'all are, are just wild for no reason. But, like, yes, invite this change. Um, everything that changes in our vision, right? Imagine you have a, a, a great plan you want to do. Well, you need to see what that looks like. You need to see how it looks like. You need to see why you're seeing what you're seeing. And then we move forward with the plan. Well, that's Capricorn season. Over the next 30 days, should you choose to accept, you are going to fully encapsulate the vision of this personal independent mission you and only you have been given. You're going to finally, like today, have a detailed understanding of how you're seeing what you're seeing. And then you're going to step into Capricorn and you're going to complete it. You're going to do it. This moon in Virgo, in understanding how it is you're adjusting your vision, is going to apply this change of analysis and behavior to directly apply when the moon goes into Libra in a day and a half from now. And then that's the entourage 300 degree Aquarius signature, where now that you understand how you're adjusting your vision, you're going to start to understand who it is that fits in this vision with you. It's entourage energy. It's entourage magic. All right. But until then, you know, uh, enjoy the merciless criticism that you know how Virgo is. Virgo is just going to completely because you did it. You did it perfect. But Virgo noticed three flaws and errors. So, like, you know, just pay attention. Don't take it personal. It is what it is. And now that we got that out the way. The Aquarians are awakening. Capricorn has just woke up. Which, this is terrifying. But now the Aquarians are waking up. I don't I don't know how to make sense of this to you yet, but just keep that in mind. And Sagittarius is going to be a terrifying reminder that everyone is maybe just as psychic, if not more psychic than you are. And it's putting you, well, they're not as psychic as you, but they're putting you in a position to really now tap into qualities you never had to because uh, maybe there wasn't any external environment that pushed you to do this. And and it's going to really help you understand facets you didn't even know you were good at relative to sensing, relative to hearing, smelling, imagining. And the moon in Virgo trine to Uranus and Taurus is going to really change a whole lot of how innovative and unconventionally you'll be able to facilitate this change. And I'm going to just keep it a buck with you. You're going to start to see your supernatural powers. You're going to, you're going to start to see how your powers really work too. And, and, and it's, that's the purpose of the suggestive switch because there are certain unconscious beliefs you may have had around, oh, I can't do that. That would be nice if I could do that. And you're going to see how specifically, oh my God, I made that happen. What else can I make happen? Boom. And that's how your life is going to change over the next two weeks. I'll see you next Magic Moon message. I have a 50% off sale. Holla at your boy. Astro transit forecast, natal chart reports, sinistry. All right. Like it, well, your relationship needs some kind of holla at your boy. We'll look up at the charts. What's up? 50% automatic. Um, and am I forgetting something? Uh, yeah, I got the I got the uh, subscriptions too for you guys who want like more weekly reports. I have two more tarot reports too for those of you who want romance tarot or career tarot. Go to my website thepeacedealer.com, um, and yeah, holla at me. Uh, if you're wondering where this music is coming from, shout out to Zay. You cooking up some beats. Yeah, yeah. Magic Moon message, Moon in Virgo, gotta let you know. Drink it like a beverage, you already know. Said no three times, cause I don't know what the fuck I'm saying, bro. Oh, you better get it right, cause one day you gonna get caught in the light. We in Sagittarius season. I drink beer for no reason. I prefer liquor though. Oh, I guess you didn't know that's Aquarius season. Comment down below what you believe in, and I'ma see you next time. I'ma see, I had to be with Sag in Sag season. Uh, <laughs> Peace out, y'all.